Yo, man, what's good? Hit that thumbs up button, like, love, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, and yes, that is Drake. That is not Photoshop. That is him. That is uh, who they say is the face of hip hop or uh, whatever you want to call this, this contemporary era. And uh, you got Cam, legendary rapper, good show right now with, with Mace. And Cam was uh, interviewing with GQ magazine recently and they brought up Drake. And this is when Cam starts going off and saying, uh, and not in a bad way, obviously, but he's like, and he says in quote, uh, when it's somebody of Drake's magnitude, you gotta show, you ought to show love. It's a lot of people who wanna criticize and say he's too commercial. Uh, the modern day Michael Jackson that can also rap. I'm like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> like he, when he first said he's too commercial, I'm thinking, okay, that's the the most deaf thing, you know. And most deaf is bugging out here too with these outfits. These all these rappers is weird. Between most deaf and then you got the uh, Playboy Cardis out here wearing thongs. This is Manny panties. It's wild out here, man. And uh, he springs up that, and I'm thinking, okay, commercial. Then you go to modern day Mike Jackson, and that's when you lost me. That's when he lost a lot of us. I was like, nah, bro. And art, be able to articulate yourself. I don't know if it's because uh, I'm educated and some of our favorite rappers, as much as we love them, you could tell some of them, like, they, they levels of, of, of being able to articulate themselves ain't really there at times because... I remember somebody put a, a, on Instagram what you think about the show, and we was all talking about it. And I watched the show, and I like you know the the, the humor in it and OJ Simpson and all that. And uh, somebody was like, "What you think though? They can improve on to get to another level." I was like, "Honestly, you probably need more decorum. You need a little bit more professionalism." And Cam got mad. <laughs> and Cam got mad and, and like. Try to say, yo, you can watch something else. I was like, yo, man, I'm just being honest. I like the show, but if you're trying to get this on like a real network or something, right, bro, y'all gonna have to like. I remember at one point, they just had strippers dancing at halftime. Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> let's be real. But anyway, uh, the Michael Jackson comparison with Drake is just, uh, like I say, if you articulate, just, I know what he's trying to say. But it's not even close, man. Uh, the Thriller sold 70 million copies, hard copies, pause. It's when you had to go to a store and actually buy an album, a vinyl, a tape, a CD. You, don't Streams don't compare. He would have to sell like 40 or 50 billion streams or something to add up to that. It don't even, it's not even comparison. Like Mike had people passing out. They used to have ambulances and EMS on standby for this guy when they knew he was coming somewhere or at a concert. It was that serious. And, and that's an era where uh, the celebrity was actually, uh, uh, it was a mystique about celebrities because there was no social media. There was no internet. The internet and social media kind of brought the world closer. Like you you, you see celebrities, personas, you really start seeing too much of them. You start seeing how they really are and it's everything. Everybody could talk to each other anywhere you at in the world. Any Everything is accessible to everybody. Like I was at a restaurant a couple of weeks ago and... Uh, somebody was like, yo, that's Peter Guns. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. I was just looking up. And I was like, all right, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it is what it is. Like, the, 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 a lot of celebrities have lost that mystique. And that and, and Mike and them, they had that in that era. I don't think you could compete with that. I don't think grown, I hope grown men aren't fainting when they see Drake at in concert. I mean, who knows with y'all these days, you know? <laughs> and like I said, that is not a Photoshop pick. That is the face of hip hop. Uh, for the last, what, since like 09, 2010? It's, you know, his run has been impressive to a certain degree, but at the same time, the last couple albums was mid, uh, other than the future joints. Uh, the last album, the, for all for my dogs, that wasn't for the dogs, that was false advertisement. And then it was so much like kind of backlash or kind of uh, bad reviews, he went and made another joint after that, like to try to redeem himself. And then I got mad at Joe because Joe was like, yo, man, it's time to evolve. You're like 36, still rapping like you're 25. Like, <laughs> grow up. You, it's it's kind of lazy because he's been using the same formula that, that he knows works. He has a formula, and it's like he's just sticking to it. He's not trying to experiment. You would think at this point in his career, he would try to do something different or 
nah, he's just like, yo, I'm gonna keep spoon feeding y'all, which y'all keep coming back for and keep hustling y'all like he been doing. I don't blame him, but you know, when you start comparing people to, and it's not even the fact that Mike is dead, it's just that that was just a whole nother level of celebrity in general in that time frame. Nothing comes close to that. Uh, what, what Drake is in hip hop is just, I don't know, he's just himself. I'm not comparing him to Tupac. I'm not gonna compare him to Biggie or anybody else. I mean, he is what he is. I mean, it's, it's but it's levels to celebrity. It's never. I'll never forget that video at the Lakers game a couple of years ago, and it was. It's like it's, it's Shannon Sharp, ironically, it's Jay Z and it's Denzel, and Shannon. This is a Hall of Fame football player, three time champion, and all of that. And he he goes up to, to Jay-Z to speak to him. And Jay kind of like played him and kind of like played him to the left. Like, I, I, you know, like he above him. And and then Jay tries to holler at Denzel. And Denzel's like waving him off. <laughs> like, like, what you doing here? I'm trying to talk right now. What you talking about? What you Like Denzel had no time for, for Jay-Z. Like it was levels to that. It's like Denzel is elite status here somewhere at the top and then Jay was up somewhere in the middle and then Shannon was just treated like you know like just a fanboy it was crazy but yeah Cam is tripping man Jay Drake is not in my in my opinion not on that level but uh let me know what y'all think I'm sure somebody will get pissed off at it uh hit that like button I'm out